Chef Laureus, today in the Love Lab, we're making smothered turkey wings. It's, this is not for just for Thanksgiving. This is any time of year goodness. Smothered turkey wings, turkey legs, turkey thigh. Pick a part, any part, smother it, and enjoy yourself, baby. Come on in the kitchen, let's cook. family so we're going to start with these turkey wings now i've already taken the wings and separated them and i've moved the tips now word to the wise get your butcher to separate the wings okay because turkey wings are mean <laughs> they, choking, they ain't chicken they're mean and you'll be fighting with that thing to get to the right where the joint is so you can break it it ain't nothing to play with it ain't ain't no games and no cowards that's what my dad used to say but in any case i've already done that part and i've kept my tips because the tips you can actually freeze them and use them later to make broth you can boil them with some water it's a lot of different things you can do so that's a good thing all right so here we've got our flats and the drumstick portion of our wings we're going to put together a little seasoning i've already gotten here some thyme and garlic powder what i'm also going to add to this though is poultry seasoning i'm sure a lot of you use poultry seasoning but i wanted to make sure that i just kind of highlighted poultry seasoning to you because it's a really good flavor and it has a profile of flavors that go very well with poultry and also I'm gonna put in here some rubbed sage. Don't sleep on sage. Sage is not just for Thanksgiving time, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna put some sage in here as well, okay? And I went heavy on these seasonings with this because we really wanted to have some good flavor. And we have the garlic powder. Now, if you want to make these Cajun, by all means, you can go ahead and put in there some chili powder and all of that other stuff to get it going nice and, you know, make it do what it do for you and yours. That would be nice. My kids are happy with me right now. I have it. Kill them with the spice in a while, and I'm just gonna try to stay on that tip of happy mom. While I'm getting the seasoning ready, I'm gonna start my st uh, skillet here. We're going to brown these just a little bit to get a nice crust going on them. Add a little salt to the seasoning, okay? And some fresh black pepper. Oops. And again, this is just a basic rub. You can honestly use anything you want to put on it. I just I'm going basically for an herb uh, seasoning, okay? So I'm gonna give these a nice little mix together. Okay, and this is what we're gonna use as the basis of our seasoning. I have extra of the individuals around here, so if I need to do any more, I can, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and also what I have in the pot that we're heating to get ready to, to briefly brown the outside, I've got some butter and I'm gonna add to this some vegetable oil because you know butter has a high smoke point no, excuse me a low smoke point and we don't want to make a mess but we want the flavor that the butter will bring so if i use a little oil i'll just kind of temper it out all right so our seasoning's ready here are our wings i'm gonna put a glove on you don't have to but i just don't feel like super turkey hands today is that okay church all right now i got a little olive oil here and i'm just gonna put smidge on here See how I'm doing this, okay? And I'm gonna actually season these in this bowl. So I put the olive oil on there, and now I'm gonna drop these in here. I had I'm using the parchment paper to make my cleanup situation better. Let me move this over here, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> All right, and come back with a little more olive oil. Not a ton, just some olive oil to help this, you know, hold the flavor and just make it soften. You know, I'm being nice to it, letting it know I love it, you know? <laughs> now, I'm gonna take this seasoning here and I'm gonna start generously putting it on here. And look, I'm gonna rub this. Can you see how I'm doing this? I am getting this into all, I mean every bit of this turkey. Because this is important. This is where the flavor is. You got to, do you have to work with this? But you know what? Let me tell y'all the truth. This is a Sunday dinner. My mama would cook stuff like this on Sundays after church, you know what I mean? You come home from a long day at church, you're hungry, you're tired, and they pull out these turkey legs, or turkey wings, or turkey thighs, pick apart any part. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Ooh, 
that's good eating. And it's not just for Thanksgiving. A lot of people think you can only eat turkey at Thanksgiving. No, baby. You can have some other turkey legs or wings or thighs anytime you want. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do, got these seasoned up real nice, real right nice. Our liquid is getting, our oil and butter are getting ready. I'm gonna open this up. And I, y'all, I used all the seasoning in my pot. I've got about a cup of flour in here, okay? I'm gonna add some garlic powder to this. Flour. No, I'm not measuring today. This is how you cook turkey legs and things. And I know this is my turkey hand. Don't worry, everything's gonna get cleaned off, okay? I'm gonna clean everything off afterwards so we don't have turkey hands all over. All right? Amen, church. Amen. We will govern ourselves accordingly to the proper rules of poultry. Ain't that right? <laughs> my daughter's helping me. She's like, <laughs> we don't play with poultry like that around here. Okay. And the reason I'm doing this in layers like this is because I want to make sure that this flavor is all in my dish. Now, all I'm going to do with this oil, do this a little shake, is drop these turkey leg pieces in here. I'm going to say pieces because I keep wanting to say legs when I should be saying wings. We're going to drop these pieces in, okay, and just let them brown up a little bit, okay? See here? I'm going back to the kind of old school way. Who else mama used to shake it in a bag? But let's tell the truth. Mama didn't use a plastic bag. Mama used a, yeah, I heard y'all brown grocery store bags. <laughs> That's what our mamas used, wasn't it? All right, see how this is, see how I cooled that temperature down? And I'm just trying to get a little sizzle on. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. Again, because this is gonna be smothered, we're not trying to get it uh, like crispy. We're just trying to get a little coating on there. All right, so it's okay if it's slightly crowded because it's not crisp. All right, and this one I will put here. Give it a quick little shake. Ooh, smell like Thanksgiving, y'all. I got a whiff of that sage, but it's not just for Thanksgiving. Okay, <laughs> but it can be. This is also a good alternative if you don't want to make like a whole turkey and you have people coming. Okay, so thought I'd put that out there. All right, so here's our bowl. We're gonna wash that. I'm gonna push this over here with the seasonings. As soon as these finish browning up, I'm gonna put them in a baking dish and we're going to bake them, start in the oven. But we're going to keep this dish and all those drippings at the bottom, we're gonna use those to make our gravy for the smothering portion of the program. All right, fam, let's get these browned up. I've gotten them out of the skillet, so they've browned. They're just a little bit of a coating on them, a little brownness to them, so it'll be a nice color. I've removed the oil pan off of the heat because I'm gonna do something else with that. We're gonna use that as the basis for our gravy. So we're gonna bake these, a little bit of olive oil in there with them, and I like to just take herbs, just plain herbs. This is some thyme and some sage, a little bit of rosemary, different things, and I'm going to actually put these in here with my turkey parts, okay? Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lift this up, watch this. And I like to put them kind of between and underneath because then the flavors cook into the fat that's gonna release, because this is gonna release fat, right, as it cooks? Exactly. And this is just gonna give us some more flavor to go along with it, okay? So I'm gonna put these herbs right down here. This part is optional, you don't have to do this, <laughs> okay? I'm also gonna put in some diced celery and onions. This is gonna bake with it as well. All of this is gonna really just do wonders for our flavor. Wonders, as they say, wonders and wonders. Now, you don't have to actually brown it before you put it in like we did with the little crust thing on there. Some people just go straight into the oven with the seasoning and that works too. So there's no wrong way. I just like, I just like doing that first. This recipe does take a little bit of work, but my godfather, used to say, this is a prepared meal. <laughs> he would say it's the difference between your wife fixing your food and preparing you a meal. This, my goddaddy would call a prepared meal. If you know me from way back in the day, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, I'm just moving these little veggies over here. Just 
moving this all around. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay. Then we're gonna give this a cover of foil so the steam can come back down in it as well. I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about two hours. And what I would do is set the timer to go off a little bit earlier, okay? So when the timer goes off, you come back and make your gravy. So we're gonna take the top off, put the gravy on, and put her back in the oven. All right, so let's let this baby go for two hours, 350 degrees. So guys, we're at about an hour and a half or so, and our turkey wings are in the oven. The timer went off. I told you, I think I told you I was gonna set it to go off a little before I wanted them to fully come out. But what we're gonna do now is work on our gravy. So what I've got here is a stick of butter that I've melted, and to that, I'm gonna add in the Holy Trinity, right? That is celery, bell pepper, and onions. Every, everything starts with celery, bell pepper, and onions, it feels like especially when this is good stuff, okay? And we're gonna let these saute up and just get soft in this butter, okay? And this is the same skillet that we use to cook our turkey in because I wanted the flavor from those droppings and everything to be in here, okay? So while this is getting together and starting to soften up, oh, I smell it, y'all. I smell it. You're again, not trying to make it be uh, mushy. You just want it to start to soften just a little bit, okay? And what else we're gonna put on here as this softens is a little bit of garlic powder, okay? And some poultry seasoning, okay? See there? Bring this, oh yeah. It's happening, y'all. The magic is happening. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Once this is starting to come together, then we're gonna go in with some flour. And I'm gonna add about, this is, about, this is a half a cup of flour I have in here. And I'm gonna start with about a half of it, which is about a quarter cup, okay? And I'm gonna start to watch my heat a little bit, okay? And I want this flour to absorb all of this fat, which is coming from the butter and the oil. And we want it to come cook like a, look like a paste almost. You know what I'm saying? Because we're making a roux. And the other reason I use this skillet is because we want to have a nice rich color to it. Because we browned those turkey parts in here, it's also got some color already in the pot. You see what I'm saying, y'all? You picking it up? I knew y'all would get it. Y'all so smart. <laughs> All right, look at this. See how this is? Oh, woo, y'all. This is gonna be good. Now, if you make sure that you get your, your flour incorporated like this into your fat, your gravy won't be lumpy. So you see how I just go a little bit at a time and then I, see, that's all I do. Let me grab some salt to put in here too. I don't want that to fall off. <laughs> a little salt, oh yes, all right, woo. All right, now I'm gonna start pouring in my water, which will make my broth. I use Better Than Bouillon, I've talked about this a lot. So I go ahead and add the water. I've got about four cups here. I don't know how much I'm gonna need in total, but I'm starting here. Starting with a couple of them, I won't add it all. Oh yes. Well, I might, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have said all that now, y'all, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Get the heat up a little bit. And when this starts to boil, that flour is gonna start thickening. Y'all, and what I also have, there we go, okay. See, I didn't put all of it in there. <laughs> no, you'd be like, you might as well add. Okay, I don't disagree. <laughs> I still may. And I'm gonna go with my better than bouillon now. This, like I said, is really just concentrated chicken broth. You can use a turkey broth, whatever. Some people just use water, but I really like using a chicken broth. So this is about one teaspoon to every uh, cup, but I go heavier than that because I want my food to taste good. I have a few in here, so these teaspoons are way bigger than normal teaspoons, so I just, I go with my measurements. I haven't been disappointed yet. <laughs> there we go, okay? And this is gonna all come together. Ooh, you can add a little cream in this too if you want a kind of a cream-based uh, gravy. I'm not, ooh, it again. I, I'm not doing that today, but I'm gonna just let you know you have that option to turn this into a cream-based gravy. Now, as this comes together and starts to thicken, if it turns out it is too thick for you, all you need to do is add some more flour. Make it on a slurry on the side and add it back in. Okay? 
see how we're doing this? Just getting this going. I'm just still spinning it around. Now, as this gravy also gets closer to being done, as it starts boiling, as it's coming to a simmer now, I'm gonna add some fresh sage. Cause I like sage and it just smells pretty. And I like to put it in at this stage of the game because then the flavor doesn't always get so diluted if it cooks too much with the other stuff. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it works for me when I cook, so that's what I say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you see how we're whisking this and everything is coming together? Ooh. What we're gonna take this gravy and do is we're gonna put it on our turkey wings and then put them back, back in the oven. And I see it's starting to thicken up some more here. See that? And we'll set some of this aside as well. God, this looks good. Oh, it smells divine. And we can see those little bits from where we got that turkey, the crust on there from the flour and cooking. That's in there too. Woo. All right, I'm gonna wipe this real quick and give this a little taste just to see if I like the direction it's headed in. Turn that heat down. She's getting excited now. <laughs> oh, oh my God, that's so good. Oh my God, y'all. Okay. So I'm going to get the turkey wings out of the oven and then we're going to get this gravy on them and we're going to let them finish cooking. All right, hold on. We're almost done. Okay. And here are these beautiful turkey wings. Can you guys see how beautiful these are? I hope these are in the shot. I'm going to start with my gravy. I'm going to, it's hot too. This is hot. That's hot. I'm gonna pull them closer. I'm gonna try. Ooh. Oh my God, this is so I get excited with good food. If you watch me, you know how I do. See, I'm trying to pull it close so I can get the gravy on there without making a mess in my kitchen because I make some of the biggest messes. Okay, now you're gonna just ladle your gravy like that. See that? That's all I'm doing. And this has that Trinity in there, right? We also had some of those celery and uh, onions on the bottom of our dish, and there's herbs at the bottom as well. You see this here? Look at that. It's about to be on. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in the oven, uncovered, for about another 30 minutes or so. And I'm gonna save the rest of this gravy so when we serve this over rice, we have more gravy. Yes, Lord. All right, y'all, we're getting back in the oven. Let's finish it up. Well, look at this. Our turkey legs, or I mean our turkey wings, I just need to say turkey parts, are out of the oven. They look amazing. You see how that gravy cooked in there? I am going to just, I'm going, I'm going in the middle. And I'm, I got a plate of bright rice here, and I'm just gonna lay that right on top. Oh, dear Jesus. You can get the extra gravy here. Hold on, y'all. Lord have mercy. I'm gonna go over to the pot right here and slide on some more of this extra gravy. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This makes you want to sing devotional songs. You, you know what I'm talking about? Devotional songs? This is after Sunday after church food, you know? Hold on, it's still hot. I'm gonna push it up like this. Good Lord. I'm, I'm actually excited, y'all. I feel I feel all kinds of things right now. Okay, but one of them, first thing I'm gonna feel is this rice with this gravy. Oh God. It's hot too. Let me tell you something. I know God is good. And he's real, same. He's good and he's real. Cut this turkey meat right here. Look at that. Look at that turkey meat. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Yes. Mm -mm. This don't make no sense. Okay. Number one, I got to go get my husband for this. This is. 
This man getting food, ladies. I'm just telling you. Number two, I got to go get my mama. Because this is slap your mama's food. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to slap her. I'll slap me. I just got to go get my mama because she know good food when she have good food. This right here, this everything. I love y'all so much. And I love you now most because I made this video for you all, which means I get to feast on these smothered turkey wings. Have a great day, fam. I love y'all. See you next time right here in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with your girl, Chef Glorious. That's me. Happy cooking.